Yo folks, we're gonna do something very new because we're gonna dive into the world of achievements. You know, I was looking at my trophy room and I saw all these badges and I felt like how nice it would be to have like the full set of badges, like, like the full table. And I'm gonna invite you to join my journey, see me suffering, struggling. As a warm up, I wanted to do um, 10 kills with a pistol and there was that food achievement and drink achievement where you need to drink um, 10 times and eat 10 times during the raid. So the first one was pistols. Let me show what happened. I decided to do normal farm with my deagle and to make sure I don't die um, at the beginning, I started using my drinks and my, what is it, biscuits or such. And actually, after hopping into the game, I realized that I could be doing the precision challenge at the same time. Because if I'm using my Digo, especially against bots, then I'm going to try to aim at their heads and maybe we can knock two flies with one bat. I'm not sure if this is how they say it, but you get it. But it's so nice to do a headshot with a Digo. Like you aim and then bang! and then headshot, it's just so satisfying. Look at that, he's there and one shot instantly headshot. I love it. And to be frankly honest, I wasn't prepared for what you're gonna see now. The T5 Chad with an MK14. You see that? Two shots, three shots, I'm dead. But, but I almost killed him. If you look at the kill cam, you're gonna see that I was missing one single shot and it's almost always like that. I'm sure it happened to you as well that you look at the kill cam and the enemy guy has like one HP. Anyways, um, I wasn't devastated. It was the first game. So I dressed up and hopped into the second one. Again, I spawned near the loading area and did some satisfying headshots again against the bots and i knew that there's somebody around but i wasn't exactly sure where and i felt like it's a good idea to climb up on that wall just to have a look around because you know in normal farm you are i mean i'm not sure if you are but i'm usually underestimating enemies i feel like that even if i'm just running a digo i'm better than the enemies I'm gonna face. Uh, most likely it's Timmy's, nowadays we have bots. Well, now my self-confidence kicked me in the ass badly because after jumping on a wall, starting to run, the guy just sneaked into the loading area and just cooked me, just destroyed me with the P90. So, second attempt unsuccessful again. And then in the third round, Again, I had a spawn near the loading area and I continued where I left off doing the nice headshots, uh, picking up stuff from bots because I was running always with a T1 retro helmet. I think that's my lucky helmet. This is similar to what Icestream is doing, but my personal low end helmet is the retro helmet. And hopefully at one point we're going to have a shady skin like a black and red version with a fox on it would be super nice. It's not gonna happen, still it would be nice. Anyways, in the third game, I was again near the loading area and uh, after doing the headshots on the bots, I knew that there's somebody in the villa. I just knew. So what did I do? I did something I'm usually not doing. I was camping, I was ratting and it was actually such a nice feeling. Look at that! Look at that! I knew he's gonna come! Look at that! Don't move! Don't do anything! Don't make noise! Just wait! Silently! Just wait! There you go, he's coming! I see the footsteps! I see the footsteps! Time to prepare to turn around! Yeah! There you go! There you go! Bam 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 bam! There you go, easy kill. I mean, it wasn't an easy kill because, you know, I, I, I did some, 
I, I got some damage. But you know that song, guys. To give me what you got. Give me what you got. This is not about looting. It's not about extracting. We're gonna have those sessions in the future. You know? When we get to those achievements, we're gonna loot a lot. And run a lot. And snipe a lot. And lance a lot. No, that's Mobile Legends. So what I did is that I started going to the motel whenever I found a bot. I was switching to my Deagle to increase the number of pistol kills because I'm not sure if you know, but it says that you need to kill 10 enemy players or 10 enemies. And basically it doesn't matter if you're killing actual people, scavs or, or bots. It all counts and all adds up. I think killing 10 people with a pistol, <laughs> maybe somebody can do that, but it seems to be mission impossible, especially at this level. And actually I was seeing two people running from stable side to the villa side. Maybe they were extracting. I even wanted to chase them. I was trying to explore the area and in case I see them, maybe I can surprise them. But uh, since I saw two players, mm, I just, didn't want to risk it, so I moved on because I, I lost the track. Did you actually know, guys, that you can kill people with Deagle from this distance? From from that far away? Like, from, from, from this far away, you can actually do headshots with a Deagle. This, this pistol is actually amazing. And to show you some bad stuff as well, look at this scene, guys. So this bot is running towards me. I think he's blind by the way because he didn't see me but it took me like three or four shots to kill that bot and this is where I always remind myself that how hardly my aim sucks in this game. I have close to thousand hours and I'm I, I, I still suck. How on earth can it happen that I cannot hit a bot like this, a running bot? Anyways, and I didn't want to take the motel extract. By the way, I didn't have money anyways, but you know, it's just, actually I did. Now that I see, I could have extracted next to the motel, but I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't meet any more players, but I killed a bunch of bots and I was absolutely sure that I completed the 10 kills. So I was happy to extract. I'm proud, I achieved something. I achieved something in the game I have not done before. I truly hope that you enjoyed the bad moments and the good moments equally. I really hope that you are gonna go ahead and press that subscribe button and hit the like, maybe share this with others just to show them that this crazy guy called Shady Fox is doing some random stuff and uh, it was fun to watch or was it like uh, boring as hell? I think I'm not that entertaining. That's, that's the harsh reality. Yeah, I, I can be funny, but um, I couldn't be running a stand-up comedy. Maybe, maybe at one point, maybe I'm going to go crazy. Um, and then I'm going to do that. See you next time. Shady out. Bye.